This is Daytona, years of trouble, fight. where speed, chaos, and unpredictability reign supreme. Okay, stop, stop, stop the music, remove the cinematic crop. This is Last Time At, not a movie trailer. You're doing this all wrong. Here, let me show you how it's done. <clears throat> Last Time At, the Daytona 500. While Hendrick Motorsports swept the front row in qualifying, the first lap, however, would be led by dual number one winner, Brad Keselowski. Kyle Busch on lap number seven challenges for the lead, but it wouldn't be until lap 27 when Busch finally takes it. On lap number 39, Jacques Villeneuve spins during green flag pit stops. No caution for that, but two laps later, the first caution of the day would take place when Kaz Grala lost a tire. Well, actually the caution didn't come out until Chase Briscoe checked up and got spun by Austin Sindrick. During a three-wide attempt, Ryan Blaney bumps Kyle Larson, and they somehow managed to keep it together. Wish the same could be said for Justin Haley. Wait, never mind. Blaney's got problems with his tires too. Wait, what is happening? Kyle Busch in his 17th start seems to be having a pretty good day so far. Hopefully nothing bad happens to him. Spoiler alert, something bad happened to him. At least this wreck wasn't anything major, just a few cars going for a small spin and others taking flight. Wait, what? The stage would end under caution and the winner was Martin Truex Jr. The race would restart with Ryan Blaney leading the pack. The lead swapped a few times, but eventually Martin Truex Jr. wins stage number two as well. Unfortunately, Martin Truex Jr.'s dominance would come to an end when Tyler Reddick decided to try driving sideways. With the laps closing down, almost everyone in the top 10 is competing for their first Daytona 500 win. You have Bubba Wallace, Austin Sindrick, Kyle Busch in his 17th attempt, as well as Brad Keselowski having never won this race and now is with a new team. They're all driving side by side, bumper to bumper, at any moment it could all go wrong. Oh look, it all went wrong. With now five laps remaining, you can practically cut the tension with a butter knife, or however that saying goes. Will they make it one lap without crashing? The answer is no. Now, what did you think? This is the Daytona 500 we're talking about. They're probably gonna have like a dozen more cautions or something. Oh, that's the white flag. Oh wow, this is it. Sindrick, Kozlowski, Blaney, Wallace, Briscoe, a uh, 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 Bush, Almarola. So many people to keep track of. I mean, heck, David Reagan might even win this. Uh, oh wait, never mind. They successfully make it down the backstretch through turns three and four with no explosions. Austin Cedric leads the field with Blaney right behind him. What will Blaney do? He's been in this situation many times before. Could Bubba Wallace get it done? They're going to the line. It's Austin Sindrick. He will win the Daytona 500 and a big crash follows. Whew, okay, I can breathe now. Austin Sindrick in his rookie season wins the Daytona 500. After so many losses and so many heartbreaks last season, he can now say he has won the biggest race in NASCAR. And my goodness, what a story to start the 2022 season.